The cries for justice for Darrell Williams have been loud since his death in January. Tonight, the demands growing louder after the state medical examiner released the autopsy report. Attorneys for the family, including civil rights attorney Ben Crump, releasing a joint statement in response. It reads in part, this autopsy served as a chilling confirmation of what we've known to be true since we first viewed the video footage. Daryl's death was a direct result of excessive and unreasonable police force. It's extremely um, difficult for his mom and family at this time. They have to continuously relive this trauma uh, and live without their loved one. The report rules the manner of death, homicide, the cause of death, sudden cardiac arrest in the setting of cocaine intoxication, physical exertion, conducted energy weapon use, and physical restraint. Social justice activist Kerwin Pittman, who has stood by the family in their fight for justice. But the main thing is the result of being tased. Um, he, he expressed he had heart problems, um, and yet he was still tased. The investigation revealed Williams was first tased at 157. Eight minutes later, at 205, he no longer had a pulse. The medical examiner's report details five officers who restrained Williams. Raleigh police said Williams was being arrested for alleged drug possession during one of the department's proactive patrols. In a statement to Eyewitness News, an RPD spokesperson tells us the autopsy report will be reviewed by the district attorney who will make the final determination if criminal charges will be sought. Tonight, Wake County District Attorney Lauren Freeman says her office will make a decision in the next 30 days about whether charges will be filed against the officers involved. And so that's why we're demanding, we're calling on Lauren Freeman to make the right decision, do the right thing. So the six officers involved in this deadly arrest, they remain on administrative leave. They are also under investigation by the SBI and Internal Affairs. In Raleigh, Jamise Price, ABC 11 Eyewitness News. Yeah, still more to come from uh, the authorities and the family as well. Jamise Price, thank you.